Hey everybody, it's Missy McQuarry with more than just a vocal coach.com. And today I'm taking a special request from a student of mine to check out Epic by Faith No More, prime time zone for Mike Patton. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, please hit like, and if there are any videos you'd like me to react to, please leave it in the comments section below. This is the Kitty Lovers channel. Ooh, there she is. Let's see if we get a reaction out of her. Except we probably won't today. You know why? Because look, I have headphones, everybody. <laughs> for the people who have been suggesting and asking for better audio. I'm trying to make improvements and starting today, I will listen with this. My apologies if this is not the one that you wanted, um, but it just sounded significantly better than what I had originally queued up. So once again, I'm a vocal coach. Check out the Patreon link below in the description. I'm so excited because I probably watched this when I was like a little kid. I know that Mike Patton is a dynamic vocalist. Let's get these on. Epic, this is faith no more. <laughs> Touchy McToucherson, okay, when it comes to uh, stopping and talking. I apologize for that. I love this song. Mike Patton was adorable back then. Oh my gosh, I don't know what he looks like now. I have no idea what his story is. Obviously, you know, lots of chest voice and, you know, he's so fun. Like, uh, it just, this is actually really fun to revisit just because the 90s vibe is back, like, as far as clothing and all that stuff goes. I love the hair. <laughs> he is all personality. Gosh, it's, like, weird to even do this with these on. And it's so important because it's one thing to sing and rap. You have to, you have to have a delivery. And... His inflections are just everything, the way he does this. Like, you try replicating that the way he does it. He uses his resonator to shape the sound all over the place. We'll look for more of that here. I just, I'm going to shut up and, and enjoy it. Here we go. <laughs> just then just saying uh because let me listen to it one more time i think it was a kind of a pitched growl which i don't know if you have watched any of my videos previously but when you're making a growl sound you want to be really careful um the folds are open and if you throw pitch through there you can get into trouble whereas if the folds are coming together and you're just using something more forward and above that you're using um so silly with these freaking headphones. <laughs> I'll get it down, okay? I'll be like 95 years old, but I'll get it down by then. So 
If it's a pitch sound, you want your folds to be closed and ultimately using the false folds roving up above or using vocal fry. And I think he just threw pitch through a growl, which could lead to trouble. I just absolutely love the energy. The song is uh, epic, obviously, in title, but just there's so much energy. It just throttles you. Like, how old is this song? And it just absolutely destroys me every time. It's great. That's okay, because that wasn't pitched right there. Does he always hold the mic in such hilarious ways? That's fantastic. He's so... Somebody who is a huge fan, can you please explain to me what the story is with the dummy? <laughs> Take off the headphones, right? Mike Patton's personality on the microphone. I feel like, I think, I barely just scratched the surface on what he does with his voice. It's hard to explain, but I have seen, I've heard him, I've heard the original recording, I've heard him before, and I just, I feel like there's just so much more in there. And this song, it's it. What is it? I feel like he was cleaner in spots where he's dirty in the original recording. From what I remember, he went for more pitch in this one and cleaner sounds, which is cool. And when I say cleaner sounds, I'm being like very generous, aren't I? Because he's a lot of that was gridded up and some of it. Uh, most of it sounded just fine as far as like te technique. There was just that one spot that I queued up where I felt like, oh, don't mind the cat cleaning herself. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Are you a cat person? I hope you are. <laughs> she just loves the rock music. What can I say? This is her reaction apparently to Mike Patton just total epicness. He is all over that stage and he's also all over his range when he is just even in the rap zone. It's so goofy. It's out of sight. You know, he's moving and inflecting a lot all over the place, which is good. That's actually really healthy for your voice. You don't want to get stuck right here. What is it? You don't want to just only be in one place. 
It's a life, afraid, a lie, a sin. And I had to pull up the lyrics because I can honestly say I didn't know what he was saying until I saw that. Hopefully these lyricals are right. It's good to inflect your voice all over the place. It's really healthy to not stay in one place. Sometimes when people uh, use their speaking voice, they get stuck in one place. And this is something you want to work on. Um, even just in your speaking voice, if you have issues with your voice. The way he inflects all over the place is really cool. And the way he holds the microphone is absolutely hilarious. I don't know. I don't even know what to say, man. That is just too much. Yeah, so that being said, I will definitely be delving into more Mike Patton because I know there are different eras of his voice that I'm totally unfamiliar with. This song, I definitely knew and wanted to hear because I haven't listened to it in forever. I know that there's a newer video out there of him doing this. I just wanted to go back to when it originally came out and like check out that outfit and somebody please tell me what was up with the doll. <laughs> oh, Mike Patton fans, you're gonna have to fill me in on that. Thank you so much. Once again, if there's a video you'd like me to react to, please leave it in the comments section below. Please hit subscribe, please hit like, and I will see y'all next video. Peace.